Howdy folks, welcome to, uh, I guess be Northwest San Saba County and Northeast McCullough County. We're over on the Dan Smith Ranch. Uh, it's called, Deep, this one in particular is called the Deep Creek Ranch. It's wall to wall cover, it's high fence all the way across the property. Lots of deer, lots of turkey, lots of wildlife in general. You see some deer here to the right, they're pretty gentle. We, they just kind of look at us and trot off. Uh, we're up on the, uh, be the south side of the property off of, uh, entrance off of uh, FM 765. We're headed north. We're headed down to the Colorado River. Uh, there you can see some more deer. It's just, uh, they're all over this place. And this is the middle of the afternoon, folks. I uh, can imagine what it'd be like early in the morning, late in the afternoon. A lot of live oak on the property. Lots of, uh, brush and trees. Like I say, there's good cover all out. There is, uh, an area that has been uh, cleared uh, down below here that uh, for a lake, possible lake side. This is actually Deep Creek property right here. Deep Creek runs all the way across the property. It's a live creek and even as it dries it's been for the last two years there's still some water flowing. It, you know, spring fed so and it flows right on down the Colorado River and that's where we're headed next. The ranch is 650 acres, approximately. That's pretty close. Uh, like I said, this is Deep Creek. Deep Creek itself is not inside the high fence because of all the water that comes down through the property. They elected to move the high fence inside Deep Creek. It's on the property, but it, it, Deep Creek itself is not high fence. This is uh, we're in the river bottom now, heading down to the river. Uh, like I said, lots of live oak. This has got to be a place just like a park whenever it turns green and when it does rain. And they tell me it will rain someday. <laughs> the, the river itself, where it starts down at the property line right here, is big. There's big water. Yeah, it's easy to get to. You just drive right back right down to the water, slide your boat in and, and take off. <clears throat> this is a, kind of a realtor tour. You may recognize some of these guys. Uh, I'm not going to admit it publicly that I know any of them, but anyway. <laughs> but this, we are on the north end of the property. The Colorado River is the boundary of the north side. In a minute, we're going to head back over to the east side and head back south, and we'll give you a whole tour of the whole ranch. Uh, we're just going to let you take a look right here. Really, you can just imagine when the when spring gets here and it's right around the corner, that uh, it's going to be a really beautiful area. Okay, here we go. We're leaving the river bottom. Like I say, we're, we're going to head back north uh, along the high fence. Uh, we're going to, uh, there's two, maybe three ponds, two for sure on this property. This is one of the first ones on uh, Here's the, the fence, high fence alongside. We stopped here. This is, uh, this pond is dry as it is, holding water great. This is a sandy clay soil. Uh, leaves a lot of footprints. There's actually a, been a Bigfoot sighting of a footprint back there, according to that crew that was looking around. You can take that for however you want it. We're headed back. Now we're headed back across the, uh, this is the uh, north east part of the ranch. We're headed back, headed back south, back to the entrance. Uh, once again, you see lots of live oaks, good cover. There's not any open area on this other than a few little spots like that one little corner back down there, but 95% cover on the whole ranch. We're heading up to a, another pond, which is actually uh, artesian well fed. It, it flows, keeps it full of water all the time. We'll be taking a look at it and just get great views on this property. If you want to build a home, there's lots of sites. There is a small wildlife. Uh, real water is available. You have, like I say, blacktop frontage on the south and county road frontage on the east side of the ranch. So very good access to the property. Electricity all the way across it. Uh, this is the pond that is fed by the artesian well. Uh, not a big flow of water, uh, 
gallons. I'd be afraid to guess the gallons per minute, but I'd say in the four, three or four gallon a minute range. Enough to keep this pond full and run all the time. Now we've, we've crisscrossed back across the property. We're back over to the uh, Deep Creek. Deep Creek itself, we're crossing the creek, and this heads into the ranch next door, which is the River Oaks. Uh, this will wind the uh, tour up at this point. Uh, thanks for riding on. If you like what you see, give us a call. We'll be glad to show it to you in person.